Bruce Ball in an article recently wrote something amazing. He said, here are some of the things some of our small children are learning today. They learn that the world's morality is the way to go. If it feels right, it is right. They learn humanism. God doesn't exist, and we're fully capable of everything ourselves. Oh, God help us. They learn that man descended from monkeys has no value. We live in a society of, that Jeremiah spoke of, a society that does not even know how to blush. Did you know it's okay to blush? We've been so desensitized now, we don't even blush. What used to alarm the church 40 years ago now amazes the church, now amuses the church. We would have never allowed into our homes. Now it's amusement. And be careful because gradually the unthinkable becomes tolerable. Then acceptable, then legal, then praised. Are we getting close? The unthinkable becomes tolerable, then acceptable, then legal, then praised. We need godly mothers and fathers, he wrote, who will stand up and say, I will teach my children to walk in the way of the Lord. We cannot let the most important thing in our children's lives be left up to chance or up to somebody else's false teaching. We must stand up and be accountable as parents for our children's spiritual safety. Have you ever thought about that? The most important decision your children will ever make is what do they do with Jesus Christ? Or your grandchildren. Any grandparents out there? <laughs> There's a lot. The power of interceding. And here's where it gets encouraging. Verse 5, Paul says, who then is Paul? Paul saying, who is Apollos? But ministers through whom you believed as the Lord gave to each one of us. See, that's why you want to be careful. Don't exalt man. Please. Exalt all hell King Jesus. Don't exalt man. Preachers, pastors, they should not be exalted. They are fellow workmen running, going alongside of you. But we elevate these people. And God said, no, I, I called Paul. I gave to him. And Paul says, I planted. Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. That's why you see some of those big rallies. Billy Graham used to do a great glory. All these people come down. You're like, oh, man, amazing. Oh, no, no. Those seeds were planted years ago from praying parents, praying grandparents, pleading before God, pleading before God. Don't give them the credit. I know they wouldn't want it. Why? Because God gives the increase. This will remove a lot of stress from your life because it's not up to you what the results are. 